So, uh, I still have the sticker on, so this whole video I've just filmed with the sticker on, so please ignore that, but yes, apologies that uh, this was still on while I was just filming this video. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to Kimmy Shine. So we're new here to Disney themed videos. So the last one I did was, I believe was a High Street one. It's been a while since I filmed these, so it's a High Street one. So if you've not seen it, please go check that out. And today I'm doing Toys for a Pound. Now you'll notice in between now and Christmas, I will be doing a lot more hauls than I normally would. I know I said I want to do more stuff from the Shrine. It's just obviously this time of year, especially being Halloween and then with Christmas coming up, there's going to be a lot of stuff in the shops for me to obviously do for you guys. Um, one reason I want to do this is because it had some Halloween stuff in here that obviously is going to be in future videos video so because obviously Halloween for me I think is in like three weeks time because obviously I can film these films uh, back to back and obviously I film in advance because it's a hobby not my job so it's every time um, so yeah so um, any of these stuff though for example any of my high street ones or Primark ones um, I do normally vlog about it first because when I actually buy it I vlog about it but then when I get around to filming it probably isn't for another couple of weeks so I would highly recommend that you check out my vlogs if you want to see any of these stuff in advance but yeah let's just get into this so like I said, it's a toys for a pound, not sponsored in any way, but uh, it's one of the things I love doing. Now, this is actually two orders because I go on there quite frequently, mainly for Rubens, so they don't obviously just do Disney, do other stuff as well. I love getting stuff like this, like for stocking fillers, so I tend to go on there quite often, and also my mystery minis, so if you see my mystery minis playlist, you know a lot of them do actually come from toys for a pound. Now, like I said, this is actually two orders, so I actually ordered one a while ago, and I ordered one recently. I went onto the app, because um, I actually used the app rather than the website, I went onto the app recently, and and a lot of this stuff is still on there. Now I do find that it's hit or miss, so for example sometimes when I do my mystery minis, the mystery minis are on there, then a couple weeks later it's not, but then a few months after that it is, so it's a bit of hit or miss what's on there, so I always recommend going on there a couple of times if you can, to obviously to see you know, what's on there. But like I said, I mainly go on here for Ruben, and then I just happen to see what Disney stuff they've got. But like I said, one of the reasons I want to do this one is because they had some Halloween stuff on there. Now, I have no intention to ever use this one because um, I don't actually have any AirPods myself. But yeah, I couldn't resist this one because obviously it was like a Jack Skeleton one. So it does actually say, for this one in particular, it's actually for AirPods. And it does say compatible for generations 1 and 2. That means nothing to me. It probably means something to you guys, but actually means nothing to me. Um, but like I said, I couldn't resist. Just the fact that obviously um, with Halloween coming up, I want to get more Halloween stuff for you guys. But yeah, so this is the only one that I saw on there. I didn't see any of the characters, but like I said, it is sometimes hit or miss. Um, with these, I forgot to say, with the prices, though it's toys for a pound, it's not a pound. So some of it's a pound, some's two, uh, some's four. I have noticed some stuff is more like five, six, and sometimes even ten pounds. Depends on what it is. Sometimes I feel like it can be worth it. So it depends, like I said, if you shop around, it is kind of worth it. So I think this one was probably about three pounds, which I feel like that was actually quite a good price. Knowing that something like this, if you went to like, I don't know, Amazon or HMV, if that's still a thing, easily I would say this is probably a bit more expensive even like £10 so it, it depends on what you want and what you want to pay but I do find personally these stuff are actually quite cheap but like I said I purposely want to do this video just so I could do that now so I conclude that I think it's not my next video it's the one after that um, don't need it, but I just thought it was super cute. So it's only five pounds. So this is actually a uh, genie, and it's uh, sandwich uh, boxes. If I can find my scissors, I can show you. So I've actually got quite a few of these ones. I've actually uh, got some Lion King ones, which now have been retired to the shrine because unfortunately the pictures start tarnishing. Uh, I do have a Minnie Mouse one, which I'm in the process of using now. Again, it's under tarnish. So I do say if it's something you want to use, be careful on the fact that obviously the image will eventually rub off. But like I said. So this is five pounds so you actually get um, so that is the bigger one there and then you get another one which is that one there and then you get a small one so yes you actually get three different ones and I just think these are super cute I tend to use these when I go traveling or if I'm on a day out because some like this actually comes in handy to have like little snacks in there I do tend to use the big ones sometimes for like my fruit and things like that so when I go to work I've got my sandwiches and I've got my fruit so they do come in handy but I just couldn't resist now it's got genie on there so some of this I might actually keep in the shrine because like I said at the moment I do actually have a few other ones on the go and to be honest I really like the packaging of these so I was kind of a bit worried I didn't want to actually use um, 
say for example this one I didn't actually want to use this one just on the basis that I was like eventually that's going to tarnish so I might just put something like this in the shrine or you know maybe put the lid in the shrine and maybe keep this downstairs and actually use it for uh, putting something else in there but like I said no it was five pounds I thought wasn't bad because the other ones I've got uh, I know the Minnie Mouse one that I got I actually got from Primark and I would say it's around about the same price though the Lion King one was one that Ruben got me so I don't actually know how much it was because it was a present but I would say they're roughly about five pounds so I'd say that's kind of a good price for what it is but like I said just be careful it might actually tarnish oh I didn't actually I got some more mystery minis um so I won't actually open this one now but I will actually be doing a mystery minis for you guys at some point because uh, I do actually like I said have another box of all of these um I'm a sucker for these if you see my videos you know I don't learn like I'm always getting duplicates but I'm a sucker stuff like this on uh, toys for a pound is normally about a pound maybe two pounds which I think it's really good considering if you go somewhere that say like a comic book shop or uh, a merchandise shop that things like this would normally be about five or six pounds even on on eBay like unopened they're about six pounds so so yeah so that will be in a future video but like I said you have a playlist so just in case you want to see all the other ones I have um so obviously I went for a phase of getting these alien ones which I have actually got a video of it's the alien remixes so if you don't know what the alien remixes are it's basically the aliens dresses of other characters from Pixar films so I obviously ordered quite a few and they were nice enough to not give me any duplicates so the first one I got is actually this one here which is Boo. Now I absolutely love stuff like this, so similar to um, uh, Stitch Classes where it's basically Stitch dresses other Disney characters. So this is the same principle. So these are all uh, key rings. If I remember rightly, these are again were about £2 so I've got a few of these because I'm like obsessed with getting <laughs> as many different versions of the remakes as like I said, I have a playlist. So you've got this one here, so this is Nemo. For me these are super cute, I absolutely love stuff like this um, to get. Um, like one character dresses another character is like one of my favourite things because it's almost like you don't, it's not like a normal thing for obviously to get merchandise. Uh, so this one is Mr. Incredible, but like I said, yeah, it's just it's a fun idea because it's like two characters that would never be in the same universe or you know obviously some of these are Disney and um, these are Toy Story ones but the fact that obviously they're dressed as other Pixar characters they're like my favourite things uh, to have and the fact they're key rings as well oh and I've actually got Heimlich so this is probably one of my first I say actually no my second um, Bugs Life uh, item like I don't have a lot of Bugs Life I think I've only got little figurine of flip and that's it i think that's the only thing that's why i've never on my disney uh pixar playlist i've never done um a bugs life one because i just don't have any items for it like literally it's just one thing that there's just not a lot of merchandise and then the last one is buzz lightyear now i have recently seen the new buzz or so so lightly a film i actually really enjoyed it i can see why people didn't like it i personally liked it no one had nothing to do with say the toy story universe so i can understand why people didn't like it but I, I i personally thought it was a fun film like for me it was like really good um absolutely love socks obviously we've got ginger cats if you know so socks for us was our favorite and fun fact the voice of socks is actually the voice of a meal from ratatouille just fun fact there but yeah so for me this is one reason i love doing um this sort of uh, toys for a pound just because you get stuff like that and they're so good obviously sometimes you can't always guarantee with a mystery mini what you're going to get so it's obviously no one's fault if i get duplicates but the fact that on things like this it's a random pick so i picked like what five characters and they sent me all different ones so they were nice enough to obviously um not give me duplicates and not be a douche about it so it's really good to know that you know the fact that i've got all different ones i might be tempted to do it again but it's just the fact that now obviously i've got five characters i can't guarantee if i do it again i might get duplicates so because i'm not sure how many of these actually exist because um yeah unfortunately it doesn't show on the back how many i had to collect so i might stop there but at the same time knowing me i'll probably see it on then just buy some more oh i forgot i got this so i'm glad i didn't get it again because i almost bought it again so it's this little rapunzel here now they did actually have a few of them i think they just call them oh it's actually from the funko range and they just call them plushies so yes it's actually um the the funko one I didn't actually realize it'd be this small to be honest because it's very difficult to know online how big something's gonna be so when I actually ordered this I think they had um, I think they had a Jasmine one and I'm trying to think what other characters they had they had other characters but I thought I don't have that many Rapunzel things so I thought that's why I get Rapunzel and I think Rapunzel is one of the characters that I've done a video for but 
all the things I've done, that's it. I don't have any new stuff to do. So uh, I think that's one reason I, I got this one. But yeah, the only thing is, like I said, it's just a lot smaller than I thought because it's difficult to know when they show a photo. They don't put it against anything. It's just like a white background. So you don't know that the, the measurements, unless it had a description and maybe I didn't see it. But at the same time, yeah, I was expecting it to be a little bit bigger. But at the same time, that's kind of cool for um, like stocking fillers. If you're into that, I, I shop all year round. If you know me, I'm always shopping all year round. I don't like to wait until the last minute to buy stuff so that's one reason I do these videos throughout the year because half the time I'm actually buying stuff for Reuben and just happen to have Disney stuff as well and the last one um, which I had to think did I already have this because I bought this and then I was looking around thinking do I already have it so, so it's actually this one here and what I think it was was I was getting it confused with this one so this one I actually bought from the works and this one was five pounds but I remember having a Simba that you painted so when I got this in the box I opened it and I was like wait do I already have this but then I remember I was confusing it with this one so luckily I don't have this but this is actually a Funko Pop so it's one you can actually uh, paint yourself now if I remember rightly I think I do actually have yes yeah, so I do actually have this Simba so it's 4 90 so I do actually have the Simba oh let's come back so I do actually have the original symbol of this as Funko Pop, but then obviously they've done it where you can paint them. So the other ones have got a bow peep and Dumbo as well. Now I don't think it actually comes with any paint, so it's literally just uh, the figurine. So that's kind of cool, so obviously you can paint it how you wanted. I have seen, um, say people put like uh, jewellery on them, and sort of like, um, uh, like the little sticky things and stuff like that. So you can obviously paint it however you want. But yeah, I, I don't know if I will paint this because one of those things I kind of like the idea of it being in the box, not painted. So it's kind of for me, again, it's going to be unique if I paint it or don't paint it. So it might be one of those things that I might do one day. But yeah, the fact that I've already got this as an original uh, Funko Pop, I think it's kind of cool they're actually starting to do these so you can actually paint them yourselves. So yeah, so that was it for my toys for a pound. Like I said, there will be another one coming up, which is a Mystery Minis one. Uh, I'll probably end up doing another one just before Christmas because I love doing stuff like this because I think these are good stocking fillers. Like I said, if you are in the process of getting, uh, obviously it's October now, so you know, you might be in the process of obviously starting to get uh, like Christmas stuff, even though we've got Halloween coming up first, but it might be one of those things that you might be like, oh, this would be cool for uh, stocking fillers. But yeah, like I said, so um, a lot of this is still available on the website or on the, on the app as well, not sponsored anyway. It's one of those things I would recommend to keep like looking on there just to see because obviously they have new stuff all the time. Um, if you go on the Facebook group as well, they always advertise new stuff they've got, especially Christmas coming up. They're going to have a lot of stuff on there uh, ready for Christmas. But yeah, if that's kind of videos, then please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe and all that jazz. And I'll see you guys next time. Later days. Um, I don't actually have Ruben up here, so unfortunately my next couple of videos might be a little bit boring because he's not up here because he's actually at work because <laughs> I've had to start filming these um, while he's at work. So it's a little bit quiet and I don't even have the cats down here. Like I've got the cat bed and they're not even um, up here as well. So um, so yeah, so unfortunately there's going to be no interaction with me and Ruben in the next couple of videos just because he's at work.